Hi, this is Jeff Van West reporting from EAA AirVenture 2017, and I'm standing here at the crossroads in the middle of the show. You know, AirVenture is a great place to have things to see, but it's even better when you've got something to do. And that's what the Pilot Proficiency Center is all about. Something new this year is a weather experience simulator. Here's Mary Johnson to tell us a little bit more about what it's like to fly in the wild. Today we're talking about the FAA Center of Excellence for GA Research known as Pegasus. One of the projects we have is called WIDIC, Weather Technology in the Cockpit. One of the projects we have we're featuring here at AirVenture is WILD and it's the Weather Information Latency Demonstrator. What we've done is we've taken commercial off-the-shelf software and hardware. So we're using Lockheed Martin's Prepared, Active Skynex to enhance the weather, and what we can do is we can show you weather out the window just like it would be if you're flying. So normally in a simulator for a general aviation aircraft, your weather out the window and your weather on your MFD actually match. However, in real life they may not match due to the way the weather is delivered to your aircraft. We've introduced a latency on the multifunction display. And so your weather on your multifunction display is delayed just like you would experience if you were really flying. All right, so we have a scenario where you start off at Santa Fe, New Mexico, and you're flying straight down to Albuquerque. When it looks like it's VFR at both locations when you leave. However, as you start flying along, the weather out the window starts to look a little different than what you're seeing on your multifunction display. And therefore, we're going to ask you to make decisions. Tell us what you would do next. Experience this and give us feedback. So the reason we're doing this is because in Pegasus, we are trying to help improve GA safety, accessibility, and sustainability. When real pilots fly this, we get a lot better feedback on how to make improvements and how to make suggestions to, for improvement. So we need pilots at CFIs, low time pilot, high time pilot, haven't flown in 10 years, just learned to fly last week. All of those pilots, when we get information back from them, that helps us improve the product. This year, the Pilot Proficiency Center is doing scenario of the day. If you want to see what the scenario is for today, you can check it out at eaapilotproficiency.com. You can also sign up there for an hour of loggable time here at AirVenture 2017.